Hey, what is going on guys? We are back at the filet table today. Today we're testing out an age old debate. Which is faster, the electric filet knife or the conventional filet knife? Now for this test, we're gonna be using a seven inch Bubba tapered flex, which is a very common length, size, and style of filet knife. And I just freshly honed this on the steel, so I know that that's as sharp as it can be. And then our electric, we're using the Bubba lithium ion electric filet knife been awesome for me and we just took out a brand new set of blades out of the package on this thing and this is the new e-glide blade style so these are more scallop teeth than the old triangle teeth they're much better for softer flesh fish like panfish and trout so these should be perfect for what we're doing i'll leave a link in the description for that, that blade set as well as these two knives i'm trying to be kind of scientific about this so we're going to do three crappies with each fillet knife i want to do three in a row time each one and average the times together so we have somewhat of a scientific result. Crappies are a perfect fish for this. They fillet easily. Everyone has access to them. So let's get started. Let's have at these crappies, see which one wins. All right guys, so we're gonna start with this crappie. All these crappies are roughly the same size, so this should be ideal for this test. And I'm gonna use the method I've shown you in a lot of other videos on how to fillet a crappie. And this is the fastest way I know how to do it with a conventional knife. So we're gonna get started on this. In three, two, one, go. All right, good so far. I am taking the pin bones out on all these crappies because that's what I would normally do. And I did forget to mention, if I have any bones in these fillets at the end, I'm gonna dock a few seconds to remove those bones, like five seconds or so. Okay, pin bones, done. That's one down, two to go. Between each one, I'm gonna wipe the table down for a fresh start with the squeegee. All right guys, crappie number two. And I'll probably get faster on each one because it does take a little time to warm up and that's partially why I wanted to do three rather than just one with each knife. Cause that would be really not fair for me because I do get faster the more fish I fillet. I definitely feel like that one was a little bit quicker. Okay, done. All right, guys, number three, here we go. Now I do have to mention, I've cleaned a lot of panfish in my day with a conventional knife, and I've not cleaned as many with an electric, so there may be a little bit of bias there on the electric knife, just because I uh, haven't had as much experience with it, but we shall see how I do. I have a feeling it's gonna be hard to beat these times with the electric. Okay, pin bones, bam, bam. And I left a little bit here on this fin, so I'm gonna trim that and done. All right, that's three with the conventional. Let's see what we can do with the electric. All right, guys, we're gonna start with the electric now. I'm gonna use a different method for these. I'm gonna take the ribs out and then cut them out of the fillet later. And that's typically how you do it with an electric knife. So we will see what happens. And I got a full battery in this thing, so let's roll. Three, two, one, go. Come 
Going good so far. If you guys have any comments on how to make this faster, I certainly would be open to hearing them. I don't claim to know it all when it comes to playing fish, but there's always room for improvement. All right, guys, so I felt like that was a little bit slower. I'm not timing them right now. I'm gonna time them afterwards after I film them, but hopefully these next two will be a little quicker now that I uh, had some practice on that first one and got warmed up. So here we go on number two. Oh, little mistake there, that's all right. Just popped through the skin, but cost me a half a second. Again, we're taking the pin bones out on all these. That's how I'd normally fillet them. Okay, now this one I'm actually gonna cut this way. I feel like it works a little bit better cutting this direction then flipping it upside down with the electric style method. All right, we ripped the skin again. So yeah, definitely I'm not doing this perfectly with the electric, but doing my best. And these aren't as pretty either as I do them with the conventional. Just not as pretty. I've been filleting crappies with a conventional knife since I was a little kid and I'm fairly new to the electric. So for me, this may be a win for the conventional, but we'll see here. All right, three, two, one. Flip it. Right, that time was a little bit cleaner. A little bit cleaner there. A little bit cleaner there. So that one's looking a little bit better. Again, like I said, I get warmed up, I get faster and a little cleaner. Go. And that's why I wanted to do three. Just makes it a little bit more realistic. Oh, little hiccup, little hiccup. And, whoop, done. There we go. That's three down with each knife. So now we can tally them up and uh, make sure we don't have any bones in these fillets first so we don't have to dock any points. All right, guys, I checked them. We're free of bones, no disqualifications, and the final results are in, and they're quite surprising, so you can see them right here. And I thought I was falling way behind with the electric fillet knife, but it turns out they were so close, they were literally a fraction of a second apart uh, once I averaged all three of each method out. However, I will say that since I need more practice on the electric, my fillets with the electric were not as clean as the ones that I did with the conventional so even though the conventional was a hair slower it did give me cleaner fillets which just tells me that i need more practice with the electric probably but the electric did win by a fraction of a second and uh, let me know what you think you would win with in the comments below if you're better with an electric knife or better with a conventional knife and we'll have to test some more stuff leave me some ideas for uh, some other things that we can test as well so here's another filet video filet tutorial for you check this one out thanks for watching guys don't forget to order some of those knives below that helps me out with the channel and uh, we'll see you next time get hooked up